All right, hello my friends. Welcome back to uh, Great American Craft Beers with Kyle. Unique day here. Uh, last day in the 20s. So that's right, the big 3-0 tomorrow. Midnight been fun, my friend. It's been fun and uh, continuing to evolve in life. And I uh, had a good run and time to really start growing up here apparently. But this is growing up for me now. Beer reviews at home, not going to bars, spending stupid money on shots and, and pounding and all that. But love about me, let's get into the beer. And this is really... Unique and awesome, and I'm actually going to keep a couple of these as a souvenir can. This is from the Ale Smith Brewing Company, San Diego Pale Ale 394. Now check this out. I know a lot of people, for you baseball fans out there, which I am an avid sports baseball fan. Tony Gwynn, this is made for Tony Gwynn. Hit 394 in 94. It's got a little picture of him with his autograph. I mean, how cool is this? From one of America's best breweries, the Al Smith Brewing Company. This is my first brew from Al Smith that I've reviewed. I've had a lot of Al Smith beers. Tremendous company. I mean, the Speedway Stout's one of the top stouts in the world still. Their IPA is great as well. I mean, that's under, to me, under appreciated, under talked about. You know, obviously Stone, Dallas Point. They're green flesh. Some great companies out there. But Al Smith is, is tremendous. A well, well crafted and well respected brewery. And for them to do this is really awesome. You know, as a Tony Gwynn fan. Uh, the back of the story here says in early 2014, Tony Gwynn's team approached Al Smith to create a distinctive beer for the baseball legend. After meeting, after meeting in beers with the Gwens, Tony said that he wanted to he wanted the beer to be light with a kick, which he elaborated further to mean full hop character and light in body and color. The resulting beer is a golden pale ale full of American hop flavor and aroma with a subdued bitterness and malty sweet finish. Excuse me. Uh, Al Smith San Diego Pale Ale 394 pays tribute to the city that Tony loved. And the career high batting average that he achieved in 1994. Discover what happens when a Hall of Famer, Hall of Fame perfectionist, crafts a beer with a world class brewery. A portion of the proceeds will go to the Tony and Lisa Gwynn Foundation. Uh, it's, it, it's, it's just sort of sad what happened to this great man. And, I mean, he's the greatest hitter of my lifetime. Pure hitter. Third, fourth best hitter probably that ever played the game. Uh, just the way he made contact and the way he could just. just doubles and he wasn't even fast his single double just unreal i mean i've never seen i've made personally i've never seen a hitter like tony probably never will again as far as just pure hitting i mean you got to go back to probably ted williams or ty cobb you know for that consistent and that greatness so he would probably be he's a top three or four hitter that ever played the greatest game on earth which is america's pastime so let's get it going here i'm about three minutes but this is unique i picked up a six pack a little pricey, but for Tony and the logo, and I'll give a couple out. I'm going to keep one as well. So that's the kind of guy I am. 14 hour six pack. I'm only going to drink one of these, keep one on the shelf, not open, and then give the other four away. So without further ado, let's get a pour. No Elsmith glassware. Sam Adams, trusty glassware. Uh, really surprised that Elsmith has not done a pint night at Jungle Jam. I don't remember seeing him there over the last couple of years uh, for a pint night. But uh, great brewery, great outfit. and Again, I, there's just so many great breweries in San Diego that they're not talked about, and I'm not sure why. I mean, I get why, because there is so much in this. Oh, look at that color. Oh, that's a tremendous color on this. Uh, this pale ale. And already getting that hop aroma up front. My goodness, yeah. Already getting... Oh, the, the fruit in this. Wow. Great company. Uh, also, by the way, a couple of about the beer. It's uh, 6% alcohol by volume. Uh, six percent even there on the pail. So a little bit of more aroma here, and some good tropical notes, uh, citrus notes, citrus tropical smooth. So without further ado, let's uh, let's thank the brewers at Al Smith and let's uh, keep Tony Gwynn in our thoughts and memories as the great man that he was, and he's up in heaven smiling down on all of us right now. And this one's for you, Tony. We love you, man. And uh, thanks again, and uh, cheers to who's ever watching this. Okay, not bad. Uh, I don't think that's bad, but I'm not getting... It's a real smooth finish. Uh, it's, it's very, this is very drinkable... And I, I like this beer. I can tell you right now I like this, but I don't. Again, I think this is going to be similar to some pale ales that I've drank where they just don't, they run together. I'm not getting, 
I mean, this is not bad. It's, it's smooth. Uh, and I did want to note that I drank a, my first beer from Big Sky Brewing Company yesterday. A pale ale out of Big Sky Brewing. I think it was called Scapegoat. Then I got a chance to review it. Had a friend had a bottle. It was out in uh, out in Montana, the Glacier National Park, and swung by the brewery in Missoula. And that was amazing. In fact, I don't want to knock this beer, but I think that was a little better. Maybe I'll get a chance to get some Big Sky stuff. I don't know. Jungle Gems, nothing from Montana. This is good. Very smooth finish. Some tropical notes, but there isn't much in here that's blowing me away. I mean, it's drinkable, and I'd recommend it. But it's just it's just kind of a run of the mill beer for me. Let's get another sip. Yeah, it's one to enjoy and it's good. I'm gonna say it's a B. I mean, it's fair, it's solid. It's not bad, but it's not. This isn't a. This isn't one that I would. I would go. Out, I would get this for the uniqueness of the can. Tony Gwynn 394 for the actual taste of the beer. No, it's not bad. Like I said I'm gonna give it a B. Serviceable, solid, smooth. I mean, you can see that I've already. Drink about a quarter of the beer. It's very smooth. I mean, you could really. This would be a great summertime beer. Of course, fall is here today, folks. We're into the up oh, low 40s this morning. In fact, some frost possible by Wednesday. But high still in the mid 60s here. But this is what October should feel like. Not Saturday when it was 82 or uh, you know 92 three weeks ago, which is ridiculous. Uh, so this is a great summer beer. And at six percent, I could really sit down the pool and drink this. You know. Or if I'm out on a canoe or out playing cornhole. So it's a good beer. I, I don't want to, you know, I'm not downplaying this. I just, it's not wowing me. Uh, and again, I'm not saying, like I said, it's, it is what it is. So I'm not going to say more about it. Give it a B. But I think, you know, if you're a baseball fan, if you collect stuff like me, the nerd that I am, Tony was was awesome. So this is more why I actually bought this. And I like Yale Smith. I'm not liking this. If this would just said Yale Smith Pale Ale. And I probably wouldn't have bought it. This this is what I bought it for, Tony Gwynn. And, you know, and it's, it's a decent beer as well. So, it's a B. I have some hoof harder in there that I might break out. I'm a little little weary. Friend Chris Harris, if you're watching this, hooked me up with a couple of pints of uh, hoof hearted beer. I've had a couple from Mr. Zach Rogers. That's an excellent brewery. They are tremendous. And these are big boys. Uh, one's 11%, one's 14 IPA and a stout from them. So, I don't know if I'm getting that tonight or not. I just put them in the fridge too as well. So, that's going to do it for me on this Ale Smith review, but uh, thanks again, and uh, it's been fun, guys, and uh, we'll see you guys soon, and as always, cheers.